had to drink all the water that <laughs> found our water. This time my life I I'm already crying again. Thank you. Like, what's happening? Party hard, party. And party? It's a lot, but it's really fun. Welcome back guys to another video here from Kuala Lumpur. We had an amazing time here and now our journey continues because today we are going to Thailand which will be a short, exhausting, maybe long trip with a bus ride but we're super stoked to see a new country so come with us. We are all packed up, we have way too much stuff. Last time it was already super heavy and now we have a lot more food. I gotta show you a craziness here in our hotel. So you see, we have here like a face recognition. It's all keyless. You gotta use the lift, you gotta use the gym, you gotta use all the facilities. And, and they have cameras everywhere, which is quite confusing for us. It's kind of creepy actually. Yeah, we don't know this from you, bro. Thank you. That's our graph. Good morning. Good morning. We are at the airport and normally you have someone to hug and say goodbye to but actually we you have no one. You can hug me if you want. Oh. So we have a lot of <laughs> time today. Okay. It's slow so. <laughs> Normally we arrive like one and a half hours before departure so we have one hour at the airport but since we are abroad and we don't know the airport we came a little earlier. And it looks nice so. Yeah. We can probably spend some time here. Today in the morning I got an email, our flight at 12.30 is uh, delayed. But I'm already so tired because Mark woke me up so early today, like I could fall asleep right now. And I think this airport is pretty cool because it's kind of like a mall. I feel like getting stuck box today. Took a look at the menu, Starbucks is too expensive, no Starbucks for me. <laughs> I mean it's like 5 euros for coffee, that's insane. <laughs> Oh no, it looks like it's packed. We're gonna we're gonna wait here for an hour I guess. There are so so many people at the Air Asia check-in. So good thing we came early I guess. Okay now I understand it's a different system. So you go to a machine, do the luggage check, so you check in your luggage and then there's an automated system where you just drop off the luggage, scan the code or something like this and then it goes. That's new. Never heard of that before. But it doesn't look like it's going way faster than normally because there are so, so many people standing here. So we went to the family mart and some Korean mart and we bought some snacks for the flight for today. Because we didn't have breakfast yet and also no lunch today and dinner will probably be missing too. Thank you. So we are now going to the security check and then we will go to the departure gate. Our passports leaving to Thailand. <laughs> oh yes, so excited. The flight is actually really short. It's about two hours, I think. Better than two hours. One hour, 45 minutes. Security check done. Very easy security check. Seems like there's a second security check, Tara. Another one. Right after the first one. Second security check done. Oh, I had to drink all the water. They <laughs> found our water. <laughs> sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. And then you have to drink it all. <laughs> we have uh, about 40 minutes until boarding, so we're gonna just spend our time here. Okay, it is boarding time, and Laura have mentioned yet anything about her flight anxiety so fingers crossed it's getting better already since we are flying quite frequently lately um, I hope she will do well and if you see this while you're editing I love you it is uh, 1 p.m. 22 and the flight departure is 1 p.m. 40 so it's a very tight schedule actually come Lara we're the last one we are the last one Laura let's go we are checked in. I pre-checked in here. I was like, she's on the toilet. She's like, okay, last call, last call. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So okay. We're actually the last persons. Wow. The okay. last two ones. I guess they are not checking our boarding passes. Normally they check twice, yeah? Yeah, but now it's pretty hectic because we are already two hours late, I think. This is my life, I feel like. What is that? I'm already crying again. Thank 
Like, like, what's happening? Some charter for the couple. I hate. Ingat, lapis saudari. Iki lapis. Because Lara is doing so good with her flanking landing, so so her and map it, it's juicy. Ready to go? Ready to explore Phuket. Phuket's gonna be our very first destination. So exciting, we are in Thailand. The flight was only about one and a half hours, so really, really quick. Now we are in Phuket and it is already very hot here. Love it. We are super excited to be in Thailand. That was always a destination we really wanted to see. And we will stay for a few months here. So be prepared for some Thailand content. Welcome to Phuket International Airport. And there you see me. My temperature, hold on. 35 degrees, okay. No more than 37. And that is Lara the champ, who just flew with her flight anxiety. Ooh. So, first of all, if you arrive in Thailand, you will have to fill out the form, which is for your immigration here. And this is what we will do now. We filled out the arrival card, now it is time to go to the immigration and then we will have to get our luggage. Oh, here's that. You need the passport, the Thailand pass, the boarding pass. And you need the arrival card and that is pretty much it. Come to Phuket International Airport. Woo, I made it. I got my 30 days visa, which we have to extend. And there's Mark. Made it three customs. Now we will have to get our bags and we are officially in Phuket, Thailand. I see that you can already buy your SIM card here. Let's see how expensive the SIM card here in Thailand is. Oh, a thousand baht. So the SIM card here at the airport is 1000 baht for 30 days for unlimited data, which we think is a little bit too much. That's expensive. Yeah, we will see whether we can get a more affordable plan when we arrive in Phuket town but obviously we are in an airport it is a little bit more expensive if you want to take the easy way just get it here if you want the more affordable plan just get it in the town we are now trying to get some money actually we heard that in Thailand it is pretty expensive to get money at an ATM because they always take transaction fees and they always take like fees from your card and I don't know, for foreigners, they always take fees. Yeah, this 220 baht. We got some uh, Thailand baht. Really pretty money, actually. So since we have money, let's take the bus to Phuket. Where are you going? Patong. Patong, taxi, 800 baht. Listen. As soon as you leave the airport, there are many people trying to convince you to drive with a taxi to Patong. However, it is really expensive out of the blue they offered us a mini bus instead of a taxi so we took this that's 180 baht per person so 360 all together and this is around 10 euros they take you directly to the hotel they need 10 people to take off and i think they have 10 with us right now so hopefully we will take off very soon Our crib here in Phuket. I'm gonna show you first the bathroom. This is the bathroom, pretty big actually. The shower is really big. We have a little fridge. We have water, which costs money, so we're not gonna drink it. <laughs> then we have a big bed, and we have a very, very big desk with a TV. Actually, the room is really big. And then we have like this cute seating area, area which we will probably put outside because look at this. Wow, like look at this view. As you saw, we got a free upgrade for our room. I don't even know why. And I really can't wait to explore Phuket. We left the hotel because we're gonna get some dinner now, as we announced already. But uh, we're just gonna stroll around in the streets. And we are very excited to hopefully get some Thai food today. My first impression of Thailand is it's kind of a mixture of Kuala Lumpur, in Sri Lanka. I really 
really like it here. I like it. I love it actually. Uh, my first impression is I love it and I see mangoes already. I love mangoes. There are so many restaurant options here in Patong and it really is a great vibe so far. I think it will be a really cool video series so guys stick along. We will have fun here. We just randomly decided to sit here at the local shop because we saw a lot of local people eating here. It's always the best choice to eat where many locals are eating. So I already saw that they cater Pad Thai with tofu and this is probably what I will buy. And I will look for what I'm gonna eat. I'm, I'm craving a soup or also Pad Thai or maybe mango steaky rice. I haven't eaten it for a while. So let's see what we're gonna eat. One vegetarian noodles. And one... Pad Thai tofu. Pad Thai tofu. I got my dish already. It took like, I don't know, a minute. And we got some sauces. So she explained this is a lemon sauce. This is spicy lemon sauce. Then we have chili powder and sugar. And I'm gonna take the spicy lemon sauce into the soup. She was very impressed that I can eat with chopsticks. Little she know I travel in Asia all the time. <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs> Thank you. So tofu is also tahun, like in Indonesia and tahun. Oh yeah. So there are some similarities between the languages. Spicy, but really delicious. Let's try my noodle soup. Okay. Mm. I've never had egg noodles before. It tastes really nice. Love it. We paid 60 per dish, and that is about two euros. Egg noodle tastes nice, huh? Yeah. It tastes really good. Thank you. <laughs> so that was already really delicious, really good. Now we want to see how the beach here looks, how the beach area is. We heard that late at night there are supposed to be really good parties. So let's see what's happening there. Wow, I have to say, I really, really like Phuket. It gives me amazing vibes it's like party Kuala Lumpur it's it's really cool tomorrow we gotta explore Phuket a little bit more super excited I kind of feel that a lot of German tourists come here because a lot of people know Germany like in Bali we arrived at the most famous street here where supposedly you have to go when you are in Phuket because there are so so many bars and restaurants party party hot party and parties it's a lot I love it here, but the Thai people are very communicative. They like talk to you all the time. You can't look for a split of a second in peace, and they also like to touch you. And I don't like this. I like it. I mean, I don't care. I like being touchy, I like being talkative. So that is really a fun experience for me. This is it for the vlog today. Today was a pretty long day. We had to arrive from Malaysia here, and Phuket is pretty nice. Hello. Phuket is pretty nice and the Thai people are very open-minded, especially what I saw on the street over there. Uh, that's a new word for me. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe and we're gonna see you in the next episode. Bye-bye! Um, like at the AirAsia check-in. How is the car? Baggage check-in. We are now going to the... Uh, okay, so... 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 Okay, so